So this video was going to be about building this train, but scratch that, because something exciting happened. I stumbled upon the expansion packs, and I threw my money at all the packs that had crocodilians in them. I regret nothing. And speaking of crocs, I have loved your guys' name suggestions for these gorgeous crocodiles. Parama is going to now be called Croco. I actually love that name. I think, I think that's a really, really good one. Yeah, Croco. And, and I know, I put a girl with them before, but something else happened. I was in the market, and I actually found another magnificent, gorgeous female albino saltwater crocodile with the absolute perfect genetics. <laughs> this is just amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to try and see if one plus one equals white. <laughs> but I will let you guys decide what should we call this gorgeous Sheila. Please leave a comment down below. Continuing on with last video's comments, I had a couple great suggestions for red kangaroo names. Aw, you guys. So this one, this one we will call Betsy. A pristine perfect name for a red kangaroo. And for this red kangaroo, we had the name suggestion for Reddish, because it's a big red kangaroo. However, let's just change one letter of that. Let's call him Radish. Hello. You know, because he's rad. Rock through the bang bang, boys. <laughs> so thank you guys for leaving name suggestions down below in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. Leave some more because, because we have more gorgeous animals to let into the zoo. If it would stop raining. So now I've built up this small space over here to the perfect size enclosure for one of my absolute favorite crocodilians. And we're actually going to rehome these salties in here because we don't need three exhibits for saltwater crocodiles, even though I want three exhibits. <laughs> so we're going to rehome these guys. Bye. Oh, I missed one. Bye. Oh, and then we need to make another enclosure for the other guy. Hmm. There we go. We built him a temporary home because uh, I don't have an actual spot for him yet. I actually have not seen these in the game yet, so I'm very excited to see them. And I did, I don't plan on making this a permanent habitat, but um, I did make it kind of pretty, because I love this crocodilian. Rain, rain, go away, and never return. You, you, sir, we we need wander. No, well, we we need we need the crocodiles. Hello. He is definitely not getting a raise. Oh, there we go. They're running. They're running. I. Oh, you're running. To... Oh, they're both going to show up at the same time. In the rain, also, for like dramatic effect. Okay, so here we go. This is. Oh, yeah, baby. Say hello to Tristan. An American alligator. Gorgeous big bloke. Oh, that's such a good model. Oh, it's so good. Now, this is actually the species I have worked with before, personally. Gorgeous, gorgeous animals. Just like Steve Irwin said, a frog with teeth. Love them so much. Yep, go enjoy your new home, big guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> and now, on to... Which I am assuming is... Got in... Oh, yes! The Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. One of my favorite crocodilians. It just looks so much like a dinosaur in that head. Oh, and I guess, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> I got him a gorgeous albino female, which I've never seen one like. Don't tell me you're stuck. Are you both stuck? Awkward. Oh, no, you're not stuck. I don't think. You just aren't one with the water, I guess. Which is actually fair. They actually, of all crocodilian species, these crocodilians actually do not have webbed feet uh, because they're mostly land dwellers. Oh, that looks so cool. This is one of the crocodilian species that I would actually love to own and work with. Just amazing creatures. 
like just so prehistoric looking. So actually, I'm gonna let you guys name these. This one is Miguel, but what should we name the albino cuviers? They're so small too, they only get to like a max of like six feet for the males and like females four and a half to five foot long. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, let me get away from the glass here. Oh, that's so cool. Perfect for animal viewing. Perfect. Now, let's go see if the last crocodilian I have gotten is in their homie. Oh, yes, he's here. Uh, this one is Pedro, a spectacled caiman, which I've actually had one of these before as well. Uh, it was a little baby, though. I called him Rex because he had like a, this gorgeous, gorgeous green coloration to him. Oh my gosh, these are such good models. I love how they actually make these distinctions, like the huge rigid snout here for these caimans. Oh, it's so cool. We'll get you in a better home soon. I just wanted to see your size because, well, this enclosure is definitely massive for you. But you know what? The bigger, the better. These animals are used to free roaming across vast, vast territories, so... Uh, I would love them to have bigger homes. Especially these Cuvier's Dwarf Cumans. Aww, you guys are such a good pair together. Yeah, leave a comment down for the this girl's uh, name and rich. Yeah, I didn't put anything in yet. Oh, that looks so cool. I love their red heads but black bodies. This one has a, actually a lighter body on it. Enrichment, let's see. We could give you a mud bath. That'd be fun. <gasps> a rubber duck! You know what? Just for the sake of it, let's get you a rubber duck. And then, what is this? Underwater fish be <gasps> Oh, yeah! I forgot this game has that. So I could do that with the uh, big salties. Okay. Frozen blood pumpkin. Uh, restraint feeder. I can actually do that because they're very used to hunting on land up there toy enrichment so they're good with the food enrichment we need to give them another toy never thought i would say that about a crocodile <laughs> came in technically oh 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 <gasps> wait are you actually gonna play with the rubber duck you're playing with the duck <laughs> that's amazing i've never actually seen a crocodile play with a toy so i was just curious like what would happen there oh uh, the female albino is about to mate with Croco. That'll be fun. Water jet. This would be considered like a toy, wouldn't it? Are you guys able to get back there? It looks like it. Expecting offspring. You dog. You wasted no time introducing yourself. Oh, those look so gorgeous. My goodness. I love these white crocodiles. I think these are my favorite animals in the zoo right now. These two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's get you underwater fish feeder box. Flat. Let's get you a box. Let's see what happens with this. I don't know. Yeah, let's put this um, to where people can see. Like right here, we'll put some rocks around it. I don't know how it works. Well, that is good for saltwater crocodiles, isn't it? Call, keep. Wait, hold on. Do the keepers have to actually get in here to refill it? Because that's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't know how these things work. Well, so what animals have low welfare? The tortoises? Why? You guys are so good. Oh, welfare. Social. Why are you social? Stre what are you stressed about? Trying to hide? You protest. Oh my goodness. Now there's protesters. Okay, we're going to send the babies. Protect the children at all costs. You're, you're eating. I'll let you eat. You're trying to hide. Let's see. Can we just, like, put some bushes in? Multiple animals have low welfare. I... I'm working on it. Where's some bamboo? Three... Oh, my gosh. Guys, 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 guys. Chill, chill, chill. Let me find the Bengal bamboo. Where is it? We'll do this. Get up a little bit. Why are you so stressed? Are you stressed because you don't have inner species? Welfare, they're going. Okay, it's going up. I guess they like the bushes. And, oh my gosh, there's so much chaos going on right now. Oh yeah, play. Oh, mud bath, just like a real alligator. 
Oh, that's so cool. I love how the mud actually sticks to the model here. I'm surprised you two haven't made it yet. I'll definitely work on this enclosure a bit more because, um... I just made this, uh, very, very quickly. Although, you're doing great right now. So are you. Are you guys, uh, gonna, like, you know, do the dirty deed? I guess, speaking of crocodilians, let's actually check out the Gauriel. We have not checked you out in a while. You gorgeous, gorgeous behemoth. You've been here for a while by yourself. Oh, no food. Okay, we'll need to change that. Instead of a career, your parents. Oh. Oh, they're both dead. So, you're gonna become Batman, then. Gariel Man. <laughs> yes, I have so many crocodilians at the entrance to my zoo. And you know what? That's how I would love it. All the time. Oh, yeah, let's put the American alligator. American alligator. Yeah. And then I put the Cuvier's dwarf came in here. We need a donation box, too. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love these guys so much. You guys love them, too. I see them. Yeah, big old bull alligator. Multiple, don't tell me the tortoises again. Urgh, why? Okay, guys, please let me know what's going on with these tortoises. This is crazy. <laughs> do you guys not like people in your enclosure anymore? Or do you want just uh, your inner species bonus? Who do you work well with? Uh, inner species. <gasps> Capybara! We could add those! Totally! We could totally do that. Uh, we need to change the enclosure, but... <laughs> Aww. <gasps> the Cuvier's Dwarf game is about... Aww, yeah! You two are so gorgeous together. So... Yep, you did the deed. <laughs> well, guys, I'm gonna wrap things up there. Just a quick video to get some content out there. Especially since I was super excited about actually getting all these packs. Oh my gosh, I could just have like an entire zoo around crocodiles. Do you guys want to see that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous crocodile.